So today I'm talking about a P0025 code, what it is and how you go about fixing it. And so what is a P0025 code? Well, it's a B camshaft position timing over retarded bank two. And so what does this mean? Well, basically there's a camshaft position sensor that's monitoring the camshaft as it spins and it's reporting this information back to the computer. But when you get this P0025 code, this sensor is reporting that there's some kind of issue going on with the timing on bank two side of the engine that it's off for some reason. And so it's going to be troubleshooted to know why. And if you have a V6 or V8 engine, the engine's going to have two banks. Bank one is always the side of the engine with the number one cylinder. So if you Google your engine and like cylinder location or firing order or something like that, and you find the number one cylinder, that side of the engine is going to be bank one. And then the opposite of that would be bank two. And bank two is the side of the engine that's having the problem. And depending on the engine, you could have just one cam on each side of the engine, which is called single overhead cam. So for example, right here, this engine right here has one cam on each bank of the engine. So this is called single overhead cam. But this engine right here is going to have two cams on each bank of the engine, which is called dual overhead cam. And if you do have a dual overhead cam engine, then the B inside the air code is going to point to the exhaust cam. So up here on this side, this is where the gas and the air is going into the cylinders. This would be the A camshaft. And this over here is where the exhaust is going out. And so this camshaft is going to be the B camshaft. And in this example, this would be the one the computer is seeing a problem with. And so what would be some possible causes of a P0025 code? Well, the first thing that could cause this is really dirty or low engine oil. So the first thing to do is go check your oil. Be sure it doesn't look like it's really dirty. doesn't look like it's low or anything like this. Because dirty or low engine oil can cause problems. And the next thing that could cause this is what's called variable valve timing. And variable valve timing is used on many newer vehicles these days. It helps the engine get better horsepower and different RPMs. It can improve gas mileage and different things like this. There can be different names for these systems. But basically, if there's any kind of problem with the variable valve timing components, since they can adjust the timing, then that could cause problems. And this is going to include things like the variable valve timing solenoid, the wiring going to the variable valve timing. There's what's called phasers or sometimes actuators that are located right up at the front of the cam and what the timing chain or timing belt is going to be riding on. And if there's any problem with that phaser on bank two exhaust camshaft, then that could cause problems. Oil flows through all these variable valve timing components. And this is the reason why really dirty or low engine oil can give a P0025 code because all these variable valve timing components, they have oil flowing through them that allows them to adjust the timing and, and things like this. And so if that oil is really dirty or if it's really low, then it can throw everything off. So you can't go and test these variable valve timing components to be sure that they're good. Because the next thing that could cause this is some kind of problem with the variable valve timing. And the next thing that could cause this is that there's some kind of issue going on with the timing belt or the timing chain. And basically all these timing chains and timing belts, well, they all have timing marks and they all need to be lined up correctly. And if these timing marks get off for some reason, then that can cause problems. So for example, say on bank two side of the engine, the timing mark got off just a little bit. The timing belt slipped or something like that. And this mark is a little bit before or a little bit after where it should be. Then that could cause problems and that could throw everything off. That's going to cause issues. Another thing that happens with these timing belts or timing chains is that when they get really old, they can become stretched out. When so when the engine's running, it can just throw everything off, just cause everything to be loose and just cause problems. But the next thing on the list is going to be some kind of issue going on with the timing chain or timing belt. And the last thing on the list is going to be that there's some kind of issue going on with the camshaft position sensor on bank two side of the engine, sensor B. If that sensor goes bad, it might just be reporting bad information back to the computer. So the computer just thinks there's a problem when there isn't. But usually if that happens, you're going to be getting other codes. So if you are getting other codes, be sure to pay attention to that because the last thing on the list is going to be a bad camshaft position sensor. And so that's basically it. I just wanted to give a basic overview of how you go about fixing a vehicle with the P0025 code. If you have anything to add, please comment down below. If you have any questions, ask me and I'll try to answer them. If this video helps you. Please click like, please click subscribe and have a good day.